just in case we come across a, a new enemy. But I, I doubt that's going to happen again. But just in case. So backtracking back the way to, uh, to the main spot. where We've got three out of four so far. We need to, to get that fourth one. Uh, which would be the top right, the northeast portal. And there we can fight the fourth little mini boss, and then we can take on the Cloud of Darkness. I believe that doing this weakens uh, weakens the final boss, just like it did in Xenogears, if you guys saw that. Uh, I, I believe the same was in effect in Final Fantasy IX. At least in Xenogears, though, they told you, hey, you can either take this on or you can take on the final boss and then they told you what specifically you took away from the final boss this one is just uh, don't go into the middle do we have new enemies now we're on this side no no we do not so let's keep going we are in search of the fifth ribbon even though we only have four party members they give us five ribbons throughout the game and but, but I want it because it's here so let's get ourselves the fifth ribbon and take on another Zandy clone. It is a Zandy clone, isn't it? Yes, it is. With the last ribbon acquired, nobody to equip it on. Let's just keep going, and then we can take on the final mini boss before the final boss of the game. We can head down here. I think I see the portal. There it is. Let's go in it. We can find the last crystal. I believe it's going to be the fire crystal. The last one that we've s that we haven't seen is the fire. There it is, the fire crystal. Darkness will flood the world and return it to the void. Ha <laughs> ha! We will de devour your meager light. Let's go. We are ready for this. The last and hardest of the mini bosses is this one right here. This is the two-headed dragon. It does have the highest attack out of everybody. Um, I'm gonna go for flare, even though it is the er, the, the fire crystal. I still believe that it is not w not strong against uh, against fire. So I'm going to keep going for flare because I do believe that it does so much more than meteor does. Go for another boost. Go for a holy. Come on, do some good damage for me, holy. Three thousand. I will take three thousand. That. You only get two turns. You only have two heads. Them's the rules. Thank you. Go, Flare, from your knees. Yeah, the animation just doesn't do it for me. For Flare. You know what? Let's try Meteor. No. No, we're not going for death. Death is awful. We're not going for that at all. Go for Kiraja on everybody that you can attack. Should be max damage for Sackman after just one boost. You know, no point in going over that. Oh, just under max damage, but still not a not a wasted turn because if we did that then you know it'd still be still more efficient to go for just one boost right now is what I'm trying to say. And then and he comes again and he's just picking on Novin up and down. Then he gets able uh, both under half health. Go Meteor! No, Flare is so much better. Flare is Flare is definitely where it's at another Kiraja. Uh, you go ahead and boost. Hope the Kiraja goes off before he either attacks uh, Novin or Abel, because that might kill them, and that would be bad. He does have the highest attack out of everybody. Boost! Alright. Oh, shit. Don't hit... Yeah! Sweet! That was perfect. Spread it out across the board that way nobody dies thank you for doing that full heal for everybody let's let's use another flare uh, let's go for another holy you know what he could be weak against air let's try aroga what am I doing he does have wings, but I don't think he's classed as, as weak against air and wind elements, or however you want to call it. But he should be. He should be. Another attack in. I should have healed, damn it. Once again, just under a 100,000 HP. So pretty much uh, 10 max damage hits. And we're getting there, we're getting there. Climbing ever so closely. 
No. Okay, last flare! And Kiraja, everybody, hopefully that goes off soon. You, I believe, just boosted. I'm not keeping track of my Sackman. Oh, we get a critical, so it doesn't really matter. Max damage. Oh, just under max damage, so maybe I did not. Stop picking on Novin. And this is why I don't use Holy all the time, because I need to get him to max health. It's no point in, in raising him, just only to have him hit again so that he dies. Arise! Uh, you need to boost. <sighs> Cancel it out my flare and all that good stuff. Go boost! Damn, this guy does hit hard. I, th I believe he is the strongest enemy that you'll come across. I believe he's even stronger than the green dragon, which was the strongest enemy that we had come across. Yeah, I canceled out the flare, the dick. Kiraja, everybody, you attack. We should be very close to killing the two-headed dragon now. That's not going to do it. This critical might, though, because he did have a boost on, so that's max damage. And down goes the two-headed dragon. And we've defeated the fourth mini-boss. That's always nice. We get 66,666 skills, 16,666 experience, a level up, and a job level up. Another level up for Sackman, and a job level up there as well. Awesome. I am a warrior of the dark, one of the four who stopped the flood of light a thousand years ago. I have come to join you. Yes. The balance between light and darkness is kept by the four crystals. The crystals of wind, fire, water, and earth. When Zandi halted the flow of time, the light of two of those crystals was sealed away. Because of this, the balance between light and darkness shifted drastically and gave birth to the cloud of darkness, an entity whose sole purpose is to return the world to the void. The cloud of darkness tried to seal the two remaining crystals located on the floating continent. It created the earthquake that you have witnessed. It almost drew the floating continent to the surface world. The cloud of darkness is powerful, but with our powers of light and darkness combined, we may be able to defeat it. And now it's time for backtracking. We have defeated the four mini-bosses. We have collected the four warriors of the dark. They will surely aid us in our quest to take on the cloud of darkness. You do need to take on all four, otherwise you will not be able to defeat the cloud of darkness. She'll just destroy you like she did, you know, last time, <laughs> when she just utterly decim decimated our, our party with one attack, max damage across the board. We've only got about 3,000 HP apiece. So we've almost made it. There we go. Back to the main little hub room, I guess you could say. Uh, and I think we are ready to take on the Cloud of Darkness. Hold on while I just make sure that I am ready. Okay, I think I am ready to go. We are ready for the Cloud of Darkness. We have defeated everything in our path. We need to follow these little wisps of light. Why we need to follow these is beyond me, but it is the only way we can go. I can see our destination, but we are not headed directly for it. We must take the winding path around it first. Do we have new enemies now that we are here? We do have a reskin of the dragon that we just killed. This is the twin dragon. Just gonna try to use as, as, as powerful magics as I need. And, and, and try to avoid doing this as complicated as I can. Now, you might notice that I am doing a little bit more damage. Um, I, to be honest, I had to do this a couple times. I, I went back and had to do some more job level grinding. Job level is what's going to determine the, the overall damage that, you're, that you do. So, I had to go back and do some more. You might notice Abel is also in the back row because there's no point in him being in the front row, to be honest with you. Let's go for another bio. I might do the same thing with Sackman, simply because he's doing so much damage right now. Uh, you know, he's doing max damage. Might as well move him to the back and let him do just over 9, and then he can defend even better. Uh, but Abel, for a specific reason, which we'll go in, uh, into later, 
for that battle we get 11,000 gil, 3,750 experience. I did, yeah, so, sorry, I had to do some grinding off screen again in the middle of a dungeon, which means I did have to go through this all again, so it was just as much torture for me as it was maybe for you. Let me just make some final preparations here.